All right, um, let's go and take a look at this, guys, just to remember fractions. When you have fractions divided by other fractions, you know, fraction divided by fraction, remember we like flip and multiply. But a main thing I deal as I was talking about was Aaron was to multiply by the reciprocal because that gets rid of your denominator in the and or that gets rid of your fraction in the denominator, right? And therefore, when I multiply 1 fourth times 4 thirds, you guys can see that the fourths divide out. And I'm just left, left by 1 third. So we're going to want to apply that same idea here. First thing before we get to that point, though, we realize that, oh, well, let's kind of get rid of this co-function identity here. We know that cosine graph with these transformations will make it now look like the sine graph. So that's really just the same thing as sine of theta. And tangent of negative angle, since tangent is odd, this will give us negative tangent of theta. Okay, so now let's go ahead and rewrite tangent in terms of sines and cosines, see if that helps us out at all. So I can rewrite this as sine of theta over a negative sine of theta over cosine of theta. And yes, if I would like to simplify this, I can multiply by the reciprocal, which would be cosine, cotangent, right? But if we just wrote it like this, Do you need to include the negative symbol? Doesn't matter. I mean, it's going to be negative. If you multiply by negative over negative, you're still going to get a negative answer, so it doesn't really change it. Obviously, this all divides out to 1. This sign is obviously in the numerator, so therefore those divide out, and we're just left with a negative cosine of theta, <coughs> which is your final answer. Question? All right, so I got two other groups working on.